So in my video comparing the Druid and the Cleric, as far as healers go, I upset some people by saying that Goodberry is a bad spell. Some of you disagreed with that statement. And I just wanted to say that I hear you. I think you're wrong, but I hear you. So I'm here today to prove, both mechanically and mathematically, that Goodberry is not a better spell than, say, Mass Healing Word. Now, I'm not going to say Goodberry is an outright bad spell. It has its uses. I don't personally think that there's any bad spells uh, in 5e, and somebody's going to disagree with me on that one, and I'm okay with that. I welcome it. gives me an idea for another video. Um, but it's only situational. And I'm going to prove this mechanically first. So for starters, Goodberry takes an entire action to cast. So, when healing is most important, I would argue, is during combat. When you cast good berry, you get 10 berries. Each berry heals 1 HP. But it takes an entire action to eat one berry, which means you can spend an action and eat a berry. If you're a fighter, you can action surge and waste all of your actions eating multiple berries if you want. People are going to make fun of you for doing it, but you can do it, sure. Um... Which means that the only time you're really going to use Good Berry to heal is outside of combat. Which, yeah, that's fair. Except, not really. But let's get back to the mechanics. Healing in combat, the most use for healing in combat is going to be to, to bring people back into the fight that have hit 0 HP. You can't force somebody to eat something if they're unconscious. So you can't use Good Berry to bring somebody back into the fight. And why would you waste an action on 1 HP anyway for that? Whereas Mass Healing Word, if you have multiple allies down, well, they're now at health. They can take a turn if they get a turn before monsters. So, mechanically, Mass Healing Word is superior in combat. And I know some of you are saying, but if you're healing in combat, you're wasting... No, you're not. If you're healing in combat, you're doing your job as a healer. I don't like that argument. Somebody tried making that argument. I don't like it. But now let's talk mathematically, right? So, somebody tried to say that you heal more with Goodberry than you do with Mass Healing Word. But that's wrong. You have the capability of healing more with Goodberry than Mass Healing Word. But, cast for cast, Mass Healing Word is leaps and bounds better. The argument was, with Goodberry, you are guaranteed a maximum total healing of 10. Total being the operative word. But that doesn't sound as good as you think. So, real fast, you cast Goodberry, right? You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 Goodberries. You have 10 Goodberries. Congratulations. That's, that's 10 health right there. Right? But you you have four party members. Five counting you. Right? So these two are going to go to this person. These two are going to go to this person. These two are going to stay with you because you need health too, right? These two are going to go to this person. And these two are going to go to this person. That's two, 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 and two. That's two health per person for one cast. And I know, I know, I know, I know. But you have four first level spell slots by the time you have mass healing word. Yeah, but you just came out of combat. What are the chances you still have all of those spell slots? You just came out of combat. Be real. Be real. But even ignoring that. That's two health per person. By the time you hit level 5, you'll have had one ability score improvement, or a chance at ability score improvement, assuming you didn't take a feat instead. So the average spellcasting modifier at that level is going to be plus 3. Alright. Mass Healing Word is 1d4 plus your spellcasting modifier for up to six target creatures. We've got five. 
okay? 1d4 plus 3, that means at the bare minimum, bare minimum, we're healing, we're healing 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Now, I don't know, maybe my, maybe my math's wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that's double. That's 20 hit points healed total. If we're talking totals, that's more. That's more. And that's assuming you roll a 1. That's assuming you roll a one. Okay, which means it could be fives, sixes, sevens. Cast for cast, mass healing word is the superior healing spell. Cast for cast. It also has combat applications. Because once again, if you're in combat, say this is our cleric. The purple circles are cleric. And let's see, our fighter's down, and our paladin's down, and our barbarian's down, and we've got, we've got a ranger that's still up, but missing, let's say, six health. You cast Mass Healing Word, even with the lowest roll, your fighter, your paladin, and your barbarian are now at four health, which isn't a lot. I'll argue that. I'll, I'll concede to that argument. It's not a lot. But if they go before the monsters, that's three more hard-hitting attacks, right? That's one more action surge, so essentially, what, three hits? That's Divine Smite. That's a rage, right? That, it is paid for itself. Bought and paid for, hands down, better than Goodberry. And the ranger or wizard or warlock or sorcerer or bard or whatever was sitting right here that was missing six health, now only missing two. So it has a fantastic combat application, albeit situationally. But if those situations arises, it is fantastic. Now, like I said, Goodberry isn't a terrible spell. It's not. It it's, has its uses situationally. For instance... One little caveat it has on it is uh, you eat one good berry and it can sustain a creature, or in this case player, so that they don't have to eat for 24 hours, which is great, especially if you're out and about and you know, you're not in town, so you, you don't have access to rations or you don't want to use your rations. That's fine, right? Which means, arguably, you can do this thing called good berry juggling, which is tedious unnecessary, not great, but it's good. What that is, you cast, so you get, you get your three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you get your ten, right? Let's say at, right before your long rest, you still have all four of your first level spell slots. You used your second and third level spell slots because there was combat, but you still have your first level spell slots. You, so you can cast this four times giving you 40 good berries. That's 40 health. You have 24 hours to use these good berries before they disappear, before they lose potency. They don't disappear, they lose potency. Um, so the good berries are always good berries. You can always eat them, but after 24 hours, they no longer heal you. They no longer give you the 24 hours of, of sustaining, which is why uh, Disciple of Life uh, doesn't work for good berry. Uh, this is going to be a rules is interpreted, not a rules is written, because it doesn't really specify. It just specifies first level healing spells. Goodberry technically isn't a healing spell. It's a transmutation spell. It's not the spell itself healing. It's the goodberry. So even with Disciple of Life, your goodberry is still going to heal one life per berry. But other DMs might choose something different. That's, that's going to be a rules is interpreted thing. Uh, I feel most DMs would interpret it that way because, once again, it is not the spell that's healing you. It is the berry itself. It's a little bit different. Anyway, you have 24 hours to consume 40 good berries. A long rest is 8 hours. Right? So, that means you cast your good berry 4 times. You got 24 hours. You take your long rest. That's 8 hours. You have 16 hours to consume 40 good berries. So you got your five party members. Let's say one of them takes 
15 points of damage in the next combat. You give them 15 good berries. You now have 25 good berries. That's a terrible five. You have 25 good berries left, but they're at full health. That's great. And if your other party members lost health in that combat, you have 25 hit points to distribute between combats. And that's fantastic. That's great. And then at the end of at the end of the day, when you go to take your long rest, they're all gone because it's been 24 hours. So even if you haven't consumed them all, they're gone. They, they no longer heal you. They no longer have healing properties. So you have to cast it again. Let's say you can go ahead and cast good berry four more times, puts you back up at 40. Boom. That is good berry juggling. It's neat. It's a neat trick. Some DMs that don't like creativity ban it. I, it's creative. I say go for it. If you want to waste... If you want to waste your first level spell slots on that right before your long rest, go for it. And I know what you're thinking. How is it a waste if I'm about to do long rest? You're out in the wilderness. Justifiably, you're not going to Goodberry juggle in town. There's no real reason for it. You're doing it because you're stuck outside. You didn't make it back in town before nightfall. So you're using your Goodberries, one, so that you don't have to use a ration, and two, so that you can Goodberry juggle to keep health up, right? Depending on roles, perception roles for whoever's staying up to do the night watch, you might have another combat before you actually get to complete your long rest. You could get halfway through your long rest and then get woken up for combat, which means you don't have your spell slots back because it's only been four hours. You have to complete this combat and then go back to sleep and sleep uninterrupted for eight hours. That's what a long rest is. Now... I do allow the the short combat break, you know, if if you sleep four hours, get woken up for combat, and then sleep for another four hours, boom, long rest, good enough for me. Some DMs don't do that, I do, good enough for me. But, if you use all your second and third level spell slots in combat, and then you used all of your first level spell slots for good berry, and then four hours later you're in combat so you don't have your spell slots back, you have no spell slots. You have to rely on cantrips and melee attacks. Or range attacks if you've got a bow that you're proficient in, whatever. But you have no more spell slots. You use them all on good berry. And if you use all your spell slots, including your second and third level spell slots, on good berry because you didn't use them in combat earlier, and then you have to do a combat before the, the end of your long rest, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to make fun of you. The other players at the table are probably going to make fun of you because you have no spell slots. Because you wanted. What? An extra three, or no, I'm sorry, an extra five casts of Goodberry before you went to sleep? It's situational, it's creative, the Goodberry juggling is creative, and it does work, but it does also leave you without spell slots should you have to go into combat before your long rest is up. It's not a bad spell, it is not better than a lot of other healing spells, though. It is only good situationally for good berry juggling. That is a hill I will die on all day, every day. You got a problem with that? Please, let's have a dialogue in the comments. I welcome the dialogue. I, I don't know if some of you have noticed, but I always reply to as many comments as I can so that we can have a dialogue. So... Let's talk about it. Thanks for watching.